Well, happy Tuesday afternoon to you. We had just such a great little project here. We want to share it with you because maybe it's something that you have going on in your own life. I have this beautiful handbag and it almost feels sinful to do what I'm getting ready to do to it. But to be honest with you, this is something that Tanya gave me. And if you've been watching our live auctions, she just has so many beautiful things. Uh, even this jacket that I have on, all these things that just were sit sitting there not getting used. And of course, because we were helping out, it gave uh, me some things and I generally don't take things. But this one I just particularly loved. And say hi when you come on this live. But there's one thing about this purse. It is made in Italy, still had the tags on it and also had a shoulder strap bag that would go along with it. And it was one of those things that, um, you know, we should sell, but there again, she gave it to me and uh, here we are. And this is a uh, an Italian made bag and it smells glorious. If you love leather, man, this thing smells so great, but it's too intense and it's gonna in time, I'm sure, absorb, absorb the oils from your skin and get darker, but I'm gonna help it along a little bit because I love it, but it's just not me and I don't like seeing me coming with an orange bag. So I'm gonna tone it down. First thing Melissa said when she saw it, when I walked in with it yesterday, she said, uh, you need to put Relove on that. Mm -hmm. And it had to haunt me just overnight, just a little bit. I thought, you know, why won't I? You know, I hesitate to because it's such an expensive bag. But then again, if I'm gonna be the one enjoying it, why not enjoy it like I like it? I don't like to look at it and go, I wish that bag wasn't orange, I'm just gonna fix it. So. Forgive me, my sweet friend, Tanya. <laughs> she won't care at all anyway. Well, you know she what? would do it for me it if she were here. Y'all know. It because it was orange. I got a feeling she didn't carry it <laughs> because it was orange. I think she's like me. She loved that it's tooled leather and it's a beautiful quality bag. And uh, it's a memory for her from Italy. But uh, even the little shoulder strap bag is just adorable. Look at how cute, it, how this little label is on it and so on. And anyways, she had never taken the tags off, so we're gonna darken it down. We're gonna show it a little antiquing business going on here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take these off. And you know, Relove only comes in one beautiful color, and it's just gonna give it a darker brown. And then these pieces will look a little, little two-tone still. You know, it's a semi-transparent coloring, so it's not gonna just make it brown like if we were to paint it with truffle. It's just gonna give it that nice two-tone look, but just, uh, Toning it down that orange a little bit, which I don't like. But anyway, let's get this going here and uh, pull this off. Such a simple thing to do using Relove. First thing we do is stir it. All the dryers of this product, if you have a sofa or anything that you're using this on, just be sure it's all leather. If you don't know, choose the all-in-one paint or our Restore Coat product. But if you do know, like we know here, uh, you can use this product and it's gonna give you that a bomber jacket look, that two-tone, uh, high and low, just like we're gonna accomplish right here on this bag. And uh, I'm gonna use a chip brush because this is a solvent-based product. It does contain, it is smelly, and you have to clean your brushes up, or what I'm gonna do, throw it away. This is a $2 brush, and we'll throw it in the garbage. And this stuff does not stick to metals. So the great thing about it is if I get it on the hardware, which I hope I don't, but if I do, I'm just going to dial it back with my little rag. So I'm just going to start and put it right on right here with you as we go. And this stuff acts like um, kind of like a, a stain to wood. It's going to just begin to darken. And we're going to dial it back with a soft rag and put it to the look that we want. Because it's a solvent base, it takes longer to dry. It's not going to dry like the paint dries. It's going to take a little longer. I'm just going to cut it right back to that trim and I'm going to work in areas that I can kind of remove it. Just work right to a seam, that way I can easily blend it across and um, try to get one even consistent look as I remove the product. And you all see I can already here, tell it's gonna be better. It's gonna be pretty, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is gonna be really pretty. Are you pretty. gonna try to wipe it back on the tooling part, the race yep. part? Yep, I'm gonna mm -hmm. try to give it back its high and low. And it'll show you the real beauty of how Relove works versus just painting it truffle, let's say. Mm -hmm. You know? So we do have a couple questions coming in. So sure. Lori says, so if you don't know if it's genuine leather, mm -hmm. when in doubt, use the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when in doubt, use the other. And here's another thing is, a lot of uh, leather furniture out there, and it doesn't really matter which brand, but I'll give you a good hint. If you have anything that reclines or has a recliner in it, generally it will be what's called or referred to as leather, leather match, meaning everywhere you touch with your body and your hands, your arms and so on will be leather, but anywhere underneath is going to be match, meaning it's gonna be a vinyl that was 
made to dye match that leather. So they saved money doing those things. And all of the upholstery that I ever sold or have ever seen, except just a few brands out there like Braddington Young, the Tuzi, some of those don't have uh, the leather match process. But most of them from Ashley or Lazy Boy, Englander, Thomasville, Lexington, all of those guys who made it. And Melissa's already taken a huff You're over here. You're welcome that I gave you this idea and <laughs> talked you into doing this. Uh, I'm gonna let her carry it. I'm gonna let her smell it. I'm, I could let her have that little strap bag, side strap bag, but ooh, I don't know. I have to think about that. I love her, but I love it bag. I normally don't get excited about bags, but um, Tanya had given this to Vicki, our friend that was helping us Sunday. She'd given this to her, and Vicki had so many handbags, she don't really carry that many bags. So Vicki had had brought it back because she thought, I'll never carry it. You know, I'm just gonna bring it back. And I saw it, and I said, mm, I need that bag. I need it so bad. I don't get excited about them either, but when I saw it, I love a bucket bag, because I always like to throw my stuff in it and go. Yep, fast. You like it like that too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh and my it's God. Good you know, Tanya just texted me right there. I won't send her a picture okay. of this. <laughs> now show them the front, then show them the All right, back. Here's, the, here's the new. Here's the orange. Here's the old. Here's, here's the new bag. Here's the, here's the before, here's the after. Before, after. Because you would actually have yeah. shoes that color. Yeah, you wouldn't boots. Have I have boots. boots. Yep. Yeah, I have uh -huh. boots this color, all kinds of you caramel. You wouldn't have one. one, you wouldn't have many for sure. Well, I don't have color. any of that color. Yeah. <laughs> I like that color now. I, was, I, I just to don't. I my words because like, uh oh, what if she has a lot of shoes that are that color? <laughs> now, Tanya would have color, <laughs> shoes of every color in the rainbow, but, but now I don't have no orange shoes now very, I do like orange, but I don't wouldn't be buying anything leather in orange. All right, so just keep removing. Now, this is gonna dry really quickly because I'm rubbing most of this off, so you see that, right? Mm -hmm. And this is uh, like your chair would be, but remember to stir that product. If you don't stir that product, all the dryers are going to be in the top of that, and it'll take your piece longer to dry. So, uh, can you see this, what I'm doing? You got any questions on there? Yeah, so we put them to sleep. Jenna, <laughs> Jenna's joining us, and she said uh, Jenna. she's really excited to see this. Do you think it would work on her couch? Uh, Jenna, depends on what kind of couch you have, but if you have generally older leather, good quality pieces, good leather pieces that you find even on Marketplace most of the time, those will be all leather. You can sometimes tell by the construction of the seat itself, meaning, if you pull that seat cushion out and you can see it's covered in leather on the back or the fabric on the back of the cushion on the front of the cushion. Also, if you ever see these little hooks where they have a clip that will actually mechanically clip the, the cushion in the back of the chair to a piece of elastic, that's a sign of a high quality chair. It'll be an all leather, even the back panels of the front. Generally, those are older. Um, if that's a, that's a good sign that it's all leather. If, um, if you can open the cushion, run your hand down in there and open it, and look on the back side of the cushion, you'll be able to see that there's a suede on the back, meaning a suede of the back of the leather. So you'll know that that's all leather. Um, you These can tell when you look. Because so many people on Marketplace will market sofas and they'll say this is they don't know. genuine leather. I don't believe they're trying to no, defraud you. They don't know. Them. Right. I mean, lots of people yeah. today don't know the difference yeah. and have never really seen true leather versus mm -hmm. the other. Yeah. If you're over or under the age of probably 30, you may not have seen anything leather, truly mm -hmm. leather. Yeah. Even automobile seats today, even in expensive cars, they are using bonded leather, sadly, sadly to say. Is that my son? It is. Hey, Brady, yeah. you want to come in, honey? You want to come in here and get on my live? <laughs> you want to come in? <laughs> Are you got you look dressed up like a cowboy? <laughs> oh, that's Emily. <laughs> it's really dressed up. <laughs> really dressed up. All right. Speaking of, I have um, your mask in my car out there. Your leopard mask. Take my keys and go grab those, would you please? Yeah. Right behind you. Right. Turn around, Mel. Right up behind you. Yep. Grab those in the uh, armrest. Okay. Bring them all in so you guys can get the ones you want. I'm going to show them to them here because mm -hmm. they're so cute. The land made those and. Brag her up a minute here. So anyway, let's get this side off. And we had someone ask earlier, I think it was Tamara, who wanted to know, can she use this on any color leather? You can, if you want to antique it, just like we're doing right here. If you want to darken it and antique it. 
I'm kind of at a strain doing this up in the air here, okay. so everything's sliding around on me. So I don't want to get my little pretty chrome piece here in the middle. Karen says Tanya's going to want it back now. She is going to, and I'm going to show it to her in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she won't even recognize it. She'll be saying she likes that again. She likes everything. You all see any of our auctions that we've been doing. And by the way, she did, went out to uh, Redemption Road to uh, the horse rescue and was out visiting with them. I think she took them a load of hay and food and all sorts of stuff, but they've just gotten in so many horses during all this virus and people aren't feeding their animals. It's just so sad. So, so sad. So I can't even hear it because, I mean, it just breaks my heart. I guess you guys are like me. When I see dead animals on the road anymore, my heart's crushed. I just can't even... This road that we travel back and forth here between Louisville and Taylorsville every day, it just seems like every single day it's just this straight shot through the country and every day there's dead animals on that road and I just can't even look at them. I mean, just, I just cannot. And I mean, I see deer and birds all the time, but, and raccoons Scouts that kill me, but when I see a dog oh, oh. or a cat, I just, I, hit, I just can't go there. Just become such a I must look soft. I don't, I don't see much of that thing at Well, on that road, you normally just see deer, which is mm -hmm. bad enough, yeah. um, and birds. But uh, it's those big birds that are down there eating. And I know mm -hmm. it's a circle of life. Something that eats everything. Hi, honey. Hey. Something that eats everything, I guess. And maybe there's a benefit to all that. Those poor birds, they don't have to leave town. They just circle <laughs> that road. So Isn't that cute? Uh, did you know what I did to this, Emily? Emily's been to fashion. No. So this purse was one that Tanya gave me, uh, like a fourteen, twelve, fourteen hundred dollar purse with the tags on it from Italy. But it was orange. It was this beautiful orange. Yeah. So we just toned it down. Isn't it much prettier now? Oh, More yeah. of a tobacco color. So let's yeah. do the bottom. So we got it all. So we got a question for Mary. She wants sure, Mary. to know, will Hi, the Mary. purse be stiff or hard afterwards? Not at all. You'll never feel it or t you'll smell it for a little while, but that's okay. It'll air out. This had a, this purse had a very strong leather odor, which I love. I mean, a really, really heavy one. But um, hopefully it'll come back after this airs out. Of course, this product being that it is a uh, solvent base does have a pretty stout odor. We're used to it. We, we smell it all the time because we pour it back here, but anybody super, would be super sensitive to this in their home. So work where it's ventilated mm -hmm. if you're doing this. Uh, Donna wants to know, is truffle a good ground for a leather, uh, leather couch? Sure, truffle's a great one, especially if you have one of those bonded leather sofas and so on. It's a good one to restore and renew that color back. If it's wearing or you're seeing signs of wear, it's the one that we made to match. Most of those blackish brown kind of in there. It's a good good one, I think, don't you, Mel? Mm -hmm. Also beautiful on cabinets. Truffle's really a pretty color. Mm -hmm. Did you see those? Let me show them. My sweet daughter-in-law to be here wanted a mask and she wanted hers in leopard because she's a beautiful redhead. I can't redhead. believe you didn't want yours in I leopard. did get me one. What do you mean? Can't believe I didn't. Melissa said you can't believe you I didn't get one. Friend. So here's mine. We just paint our eyes like a cat here and put this on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Need you some cat eye glasses. Yeah. And then we had some bandanas. So, Philan Newman made these. And Melissa had already ordered some. Of course, I wait right down to the D-Day to get mine. But we did some <laughs> um, we did, we did some cute ones. Try to go. I thought that the guys would like these, but I'm no can do. I was going to say, that still feels a little girly to me. Well, I got you two got black ones. I got the black and should have got blue. Still girly. Yeah. Me. Craig says, I'll it's just paisley. wear it inside out. You should have got the ones. I got the patriotic ones. Well, I said that. I was getting ready a flag or antique one of my looking flag. Got me a tie dye one. Uh -huh. it's like, I told him he'd give her that one. Well, <laughs> maybe he might like a. Craig flipped that bandana one out, but it's they're very nice. She did such a high quality yeah. job mm -hmm. of those for five or six dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah, Flan, I don't know how you made a nickel doing that. My I don't dear. think she you're did. such a sweet doll. Yeah, those are really pretty. Those are cute. If you could have a mask, that's a cute mask. If I'm going to wear one. They're still miserable. I just need some ears. They're still my, miserable. Put me on the mask <laughs> and a set of ears to go with it. Okay, so the only thing left to do is down in here. So look how much difference that is. Mm -hmm. So now that we have the bottom done, so just in a matter of minutes. We've so even that like, zipper is going to stain when you go down in there, right? Yeah, I'm going to do it with a little brush. Make sure I don't leave any areas of it gone up here. So we got a lot of people asking, they're confused. They're wanting to know, is this a stain, a paint? What it's is it? It's a stain. It? This is a stain. It's like a urethane stain. And you can only use this on genuine leather. So you got to know that the piece you have is genuine leather. Yep. And if you missed the earlier part of the video, Paula kind of goes through and gives some great tips on how you can kind of tell if it's genuine leather. Yeah, just some great things on how to uh, know good leather from mm -hmm. not so good yep. for, from artificial leathers. 
But hey, you can you can make those look great too, but just uh, use the right product. And, and the only reason you couldn't use this product is it just won't dry well on artificial uh, urethane. The the leathers are, the leather itself is made of plastic, so this being that it's a urethane and the solvent base wants to eat it up a little bit, so it doesn't want to dry well. So that's what you gotta. Be careful not put it on anything that's not genuine leather because it might eat it up, mm -hmm. not make it stay tacky. I that's... like how she says that in a whisper, like it's a secret. <laughs> she knows she's not gonna like that. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Uh, Lori wants to know, so if she's gonna paint her leather couch, would yep. this process be the same? Just put it on and wipe it yep. off? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Or no, if you're painting it on, no need to wipe it off. You need to put it on. If she's doing this on her couch, is that mm -hmm. what she's saying? Yeah. Oh, Relove, yes. You can leave it thicker too. Like mm -hmm. if you want to change the color, you can do a couple coats. If you're going from maybe burgundy, like the lady who just called a minute mm -hmm. ago, go from a red over to something more in the brown family, you can put on a couple coats. And I like to do a stipple on it, and meaning <clears throat> I like to put it on like just rub the product on like that and remove it in a circle motion when you take it off and just leave it deposited on there a little bit more. You know what I mean? Rather than trying to rub it all back if you're trying to change the color. And if you have areas that are light spots, like say you have a recliner on one end of your sofa that your husband sits on all the time and nothing else gets sat on all the way down the couch, it's in perfect shape. But you've got these two light spots, one where the head, the arms, and the feet are kind of... Always. Always, you'll always have these different areas of wear. So go in and do the first area, just spot do those areas. Go in there and rub around. I see somebody has Bradington Young, is real leather. Yes, Deborah, most of the time it is 100% real leather. Mm -hmm. um, go in there and go uh, on the spots that are damaged the most. Then go over the whole thing after that's dry. Do one whole coat over the whole thing and that'll bring it all up to even color. You follow what I'm saying? If you just did all over it, you'll still have those light marks because it's only got one coat. Those need two coats to bring them up to color, then go over the whole thing. And that will even it out and you'll never see those light and dark demarcations in the color. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the easy way. So we got a lot of people excited to try this on cowboy boots. Joan works great Joan's on those. saying she has a quality saddle that's worn in areas. Oh, see our videos mm -hmm. on YouTube. You'll yep. see all sorts of videos. We We've painted done it. Or we English, did on a saddle. Yep, yep. did an English saddle. We've done, uh, oh, we did recently did one out on our, uh, with our paint that mm -hmm. turned out great. Yep. Uh, it was, what did we use, black on it? It was I kind of a so, russet yeah. color, red looking mm -hmm. saddle. We did the, um, what did we put on it? Iron gate? I think it was iron gate. We did an iron gate on the mm -hmm. tooling, rubbed it back, and let all that kind of, just kind of antiqued it, just like we did this mm -hmm. purse. And uh, then went into this, the seat on that saddle was suede, and it was filthy. You could imagine a suede seat where somebody rides in a saddle all day long, and it was just stained. There was no cleaning it. And it was all, also a very light tan. So it was just really dirty looking and not attractive. You know, sometimes things can look uh, aged in a good way, Mm, that one wasn't aged in a good way. <laughs> it just dirty looking. It didn't look like anything you'd want to sit on. So we painted that thing and just painted the suede with iron gate and it made it really pretty black. And then we took that red saddle and just kind of washed over the iron gate over it. It looks great. So it's on YouTube too. So plenty of saddles on there to give you some ideas to look at and apply the same ideas to your purses and boots and so on. So here is the toned down bag, and uh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thanks, Mel. You're welcome. Thanks for the great idea. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll be. I'll just wait a minute before I show it to her, so she don't want to get it back. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are asking what we're using that have jumped on a little bit later. So Ooh, can you show them? We are using the our product called Relove, and it is a, a way to antique and to get your color back consistent on your leather pieces. And even though we sell it for sofas and so on, you can put it on anything. And I just did this purse, just darkened this purse down, which was kind of an orangey color, a pretty, pretty two-tone looking, uh, tooled looking piece. But now we have a dark, more of a caramel color, which I love. Mm -hmm. Put these pretty handles back so you can see that. Do you know the name of Phil Ann's business? A lot of people are asking if they can order masks from her. You know what? I'll post her link right here. Yeah, okay. Tag her. Oh, we'll, yeah. well, we'll tag her. I can't think of the if name. If you of are interested in her mask, just say something, and we'll just get. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure she sees it. Okay. Well, she's always on here, but she's a busy lady and mm -hmm. does so many things. She paints beautiful, mm -hmm. as well as she sews, and uh, I'll let her know mm -hmm. that she needs to check out the tag. And then our friend Budge Brown is on here, who we talked to well, earlier. Well, hello, Miss Budge. And uh, 
I know a secret. Don't you say it. <laughs> She'll be mad. Now, do you remember the joke she told us? Because yes, I remember I the punchline, but I don't remember the joke. Mm -hmm. Say it. What do you call... Hey, here's a joke. Now, here's a quiz. <laughs> and uh, it, Oh, and the winner. And, bud, you can't guess. The winner of this is going to win a pint of this paint. This, this right here, this stain. All right? So, first person who's guesses the answer and Melissa sees it is going to win, okay? So here is the quiz. Is uh, Here's the... Here's the... Joke. Joke <laughs> quiz. Is, uh, what do you call a singing computer? All right. First person that, that answers it. Uh -huh. First person who answers it wins a can of Relove. Let's see if I see. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny, bud. You didn't know that we are going to use it for our giveaway today. All right, so here it is. I'll put back together again. Oh, Humpy Dumpy. Mm -hmm. Isn't it cute? She won't so recognize much it. Better. So, so much better. Yes, it is. I gotta carry it home now. It's not the, even that sticky. This was a very... And it will dry. Yep, yeah, it will dry. It's wet. You know, it's, it's a little damp, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, we got a winner. Who answered that? Stacy Scurpin... Coffee. Coity? Coity? You say... Oh, Coit. 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 Yes, what do you call a singing computer? We love this. Adele. <laughs> that was funny. I like it too. All right, will you win, Stacy? Just reach out to Melissa at htpaint.com and send her your address, and she will send you some reloves. So thank you, Budge, just for that. And uh, that was a good little a good little. We joke. had a good little chuckle over that earlier. <laughs> yes, we did. All right, guys. Yeah, I see another someone else guessing that. Mm -hmm. Adele, yes. That was too funny. <laughs> um, all right, guys. We are going to uh, let y'all go. And, oh, uh, one more thing. A lot of people right. want to see Brady. You want to see Brady? They got to see Brady. All right. Brayden. Yeah. These people want to see you. Oh, I thought he was in here. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You're going to see my uh, farming friend's son here. All right, you guys. Bend down here so these ladies can see you. Bend down and say hello. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see that you look like your mom. Yep, he does. He mm -hmm. don't like to admit it, but he does. <laughs> he does. A very handsome version of your mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I were a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she would look like. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you all soon. And uh, check it out online and just search for the real word relove if you're looking for it in or on our website at allinonepaint.com. Also, don't forget about getting yourself a free sample of the all-in-one paint. If you're interested and don't have one already, just comment here and we'll be glad to send you a link so you can join in our group and see some great projects just like this purse and so many others. And we would love for you to be a member in that group and get the free sample. So just comment below and we'll send you that link. Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you so much for joining us here. We'll see y'all soon. Bye. <laughs>